Hey guys, in this video we will discuss about high level steps required for PeopleSoft installation. The steps discussed in this presentation are applicable for all PeopleSoft modules be it FSCM, HRMS etc. Also you can contact PeopleSoft Learn and Practice for end to end installation support and troubleshoot. Let's get started. First step is to download Oracle 11G installation files from Oracle website. Once you log into Oracle website, this page appears. Click on downloads, then click on Oracle database. You need to accept conditions on the page and then click on Microsoft Windows 64 bit for Oracle 11G and download two files, file 1, file 2 of around 2 GB space required. After downloading file, we need to install Oracle 11G. It's a GOI based uh, installation. Once the installation done, final message page would be like this. The installation of Oracle database was successful. That means installation completed successfully. Next is to create a blank database. For that, first of all, we need to create a listener using Netka and then to create a new Oracle database using database configuration assistance. After successful completion, we'll reach this page which says database creation complete successfully. Okay, this completes installation of Oracle 11G and creating a blank database. Next is to install PearlSoft application and people tools. First of all, we need to download PeopleSoft installation files from Oracle eDelivery, that is Oracle Cloud. We need to sign up Oracle using uh, email ID. If you have sign in, then sign in, otherwise create a new account. That will give you access to Oracle online application and services. Once you log in to Oracle, it will take you to export restriction page where you need to accept the conditions to move forward to download PeopleSoft related applications installation files. On this page, we need to search for PeopleSoft Enterprise Financials or HRMS and then under select platform, we need to select Microsoft Windows 64 page. Once you click on select, it will uh, show your required downloadables on a screen. Here we need to refer people book for people tools 8.54 installation to identify what files to download. It would be around 11 GB of total files that we need to download here. Once we have all the downloads, first step is to go for people tools 8.54 installation. Once it is done, then install PeopleSoft application. This application can be FSCM, HRMS, etc. Okay, now we have People Tools and PeopleSoft application installed, and we also have a blank database. We need to set up the blank database using PeopleSoft database. In this step, we need to run some some of the SQL scripts, then data mover script, then application engine, then SQL reports. Once all those steps done we have required temp tables records etc created in the database now we need to create web server and app server so next we first need to install tuxedo there is an installation file what you have downloaded from eDelivery and we need to run through that file and install tuxedo here after installation of Tuxedo, install Oracle WebLogic server. First, install JDK for Oracle WebLogic, then install Oracle WebLogic server 12.1.2. Perform setup for pure internet architecture. It is again a GUI based installation, which is quite easy to follow. This way web server is ready. Next, we need to create and set up application server. For configuring application server, create, configure and start application server using psadmin. It is a PeopleSoft Deliver functionality where you can configure your app server and process scheduler. Next step is to set up process scheduler which is again can be done from psadmin. Before doing that we have to go and set up root nodes from PIA. So in this diagram we can see that uh, web browsers will be linked with web server which is 
linked to application server and application server will be connected to DBMS which would be connected to process scheduler that is responsible for running scheduled processes. This way we will complete setup for process scheduler. Next step is to install and compile COBOL. COBOL is an optional installation. However, some of the processes in PeopleSoft are still in COBOL. So we need to install COBOL as well. We need to first install Microsoft Focus Net Express and then install COBOL. This completes PeopleSoft installation. If everything went well, then you will be able to log into your PeopleSoft PIA and we can log in using BP1. So these are the high level steps that we discussed here. If you need any support in installation or need to get done end to end installation for PeopleSoft, you can contact PeopleSoft Learn and Practice and we can provide you support and also we can train you on installation etc. If you want to watch and learn PeopleSoft installation, please subscribe the channel and stay connected. Thanks.